Tigers. Welcome to 2017 Tiger TV. Oh. My name is Dr. Tanjay Robertson. I'm the current principal here at Southview High School. Um, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to work with and serve the community here in Hope Mills. Um, I worked at 71st High School as a teacher, and then I later became assistant principal at 71st High School. Then I became principal at Ann Chestnut Middle School, and then finally um, I'm here at Southview. I attended Federal State University and earned a Bachelor's of Science. Then I went on to earn a master's degree in education at Fayetteville State. And then I went on and earned a second master's in school administration. And I just completed my doctoral degree at Wingate University in educational leadership. Southview is a phenomenal high school. I do believe it is one of the best high schools here in Cumberland County. Um, my plan or my vision is to just simply build on the fantastic things that we are already doing. Uh, one thing I do want to do, is, of course, is to increase the academic proficiency here at Southview. Um, I want to strengthen our athletic program. Um, I want to create and improve the uh, school pride and school morale. Um, I want to work more with student government to kind of see what the students want, what we can do to help you all have a better time and enjoy your high school years. Oh, young lady, you need to stop. Why? Because you're being dress coded. What's wrong with my outfit? Well, first, you have a hat on, and your tank top is not three fingers. You do have holes in your jeans, but they're below mid-thigh, so they're okay. So what happens if I get dress coded? Now, you have to come with me to go call your parents and get a change of clothes. Let's go. All right. Delton, Delton, Delton. I don't know what I'm going to do with you. You can send me home. Yes, I have to send you home. Because of all of your skipping, you've already had three periods of ISS. Three full days of ISS. So now, you've earned a trip to the house. You are suspended. And looking at the amount of days you've been absent, that puts you over nine days. Do you know what that means? I have to make them up as soon as possible. Yes. You need to get with your teacher and arrange a time to meet with her before or after school to make up all of the hours you've missed. I'll try harder. Yes, I recommend that you do. spring day in Colorado. Rachel Joy Scott chose to sit on the grass outside these doors and eat her lunch with a friend. This is where Rachel was shot. This is where Rachel died. She started a chain reaction with love and was kind to others. And because of that, um, she's changed the world. And that's my sister. Here to tell you there's nobody in this world that I enjoy hanging out with more than Craig Scott. He's the life of the party, and if there's not a party, he will start one for you right where you are. He's just that kind of guy. With all he's been through, for him to love life as much as he does, it's just an amazing thing. We'll be here in Fayetteville next week doing some of these challenge events. And uh, Rachel wrote this letter to her cousin Sarah as they were dealing with peer pressure and trying to figure out how to, how to handle all that. She said, Don't let your character change color with your environment, find out who you are and let it stay its true color. 
we want you as counter was, you know, there are going to be influences in our lives that are going to try and impact us by causing us to say and do things that are not consistent with our character. Don't allow that to happen. Be who you know you're supposed to be. And that was for Rachel, three things that she wanted to do in her school every single Hello, Southie Tigers. I would like to talk to you for a few moments about our kindness club that we have here. We have a club and it's called For FOR Friends of Rachel. And in this club, um, we have students um, who want to do kind things um, that are a part of it. So what is happening right now, if you haven't heard, we have students who are on Instagram. They're actually sending compliments out to students. So if you happen to receive one, consider yourself lucky. Um, we're trying to send out kindness across the airwaves, across the, the internet, um, in person. We're trying to do kind things across our world of Southview High School. And if you would like to be a part of this club, please see me, Ms. Cohn, Ms. Lawson, or Sergeant Major Murphy, Murray. We just want to make this a kind place for you to grow and learn. Thank you. My best advice to give to freshmen would be to take advantage of all your high school like opportunities like going to basketball games, going to football games, supporting your team. Don't skip and don't be late to class. Remember, high school is what you make of it, so as long as you do all your work, everything will be a lot easier in the long run. Personal advice for all your freshmen, don't date seniors. The advice that I would give freshmen is not to burn the bridges that you're building because you might need a recommendation from the teacher that you're being mean to. As well as electives are just as important as core classes. Sometimes they're an outlet for kids to escape, so don't be mean to your elective teachers. Hi, my name is Regina Smith and I am the new health science teacher for Southview High School. I am encouraging everyone that's interested in health care to come and see me and Miss Lewis so we can tell you all about what we do. I graduated from Chamberlain College of Nursing with my bachelor's in nursing. I have been nursing for 30 plus years. I was a nurse, I was actually, I, I was a nurse outside of um, the Army. I was a medic in the Army for nine years. So that's where I got my interest from. Um, I truly like to bowl, and I probably can beat anybody in this school in bowling. That's my hobby. I do a lot of other things too. I kind of walk around and enjoy walking with my husband, talking to God. That's a true hobby right there. We like spending time with him. Hi, my name is Carlos Nivia. I am from Colombia. I got my bachelor degree in Spanish and English from Pedagogica University at Bogota, Colombia. I am here in Salvi High School teaching Spanish. I am a new teacher of Spanish. I hope to have a great experience during this year. Thank you guys. most this school year is spirit week like that is the most exciting week ever like Monday we have different events Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday plus Friday is the homecoming game like guys I'm so excited aren't you what I look forward to most about this school year is running for homecoming king and queen with my boyfriend Kalen I am very excited for the new shows that I'm going to do as well as the new students I'm going to teach. We are doing four big shows this year, so look out guys, I'm excited. This year, I'm looking forward to graduating, class of 2018, and I'm looking forward to my football season with my teammates, because I feel like we're gonna go undefeated this year. I'm most confident in them, and I'm ready for the school year. goals this year uh, obviously is for us to get better each week uh, we have uh, our goals every year are, is to win the conference win the region and win the state uh, we want to get as many kids uh, to the next level in college as possible 
team captains. Uh, we want them to be good citizens in the school. We want them to be uh, have good grades. We want them to be our hardest workers on the team and those kids that can garner the respect of the team. The biggest thing for us getting hyped before the game, we all like to take, we take our time before the game, we all talk, and we all tell each other what we're planning on doing, like how we're going to make plays, how we get successful, and that really gets everybody excited. Uh, I grew up around football. My family grew up around football. I got two uncles that work in the NFL, so football was in my family, and it's just something I love to do. the offense and defensive drills so I can work on my positions and get better at my footing and stuff. I think we need, most importantly, we need to um, improve on our work ethic. And when we, when like saying if the other team score, we need to not put our heads down. We need to stay focused.